Um, what's happening? Oh my god, what? <gasps> she's oh my god, she's a vampire! Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey in Peach K and I'm single, so I thought it would be funny if I tried the millionaire gold digger challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 that I kind of made up, but is mostly inspired by different Sims challenges, rags to riches, the gold digger challenge, and of course the Black Widow challenge. If you're interested in all the rules of this challenge, I will put them all below. We've had episode one, you guys loved it. I loved making it, so we're back again to play through once more. So last time we have our first marriage. Apparently I, according to you guys, missed over some choice options accidentally. So we're gonna just get through this marriage and then right some wrongs and uh, go for a better option. So unfortunately the computer with all of my custom content on it has crashed. So I don't have any custom content on this computer that's running The Sims today, but luckily we have all of our saves. So <laughs> I forgot that my character would be fully nude and have like no hair and makeup at all. This is so awkward. So I'm gonna have to do a, a quick little makeover of um, non-custom content options, but I think she's still gonna look fabulous. RIP to our former outfit. We will bring it back um, hopefully in the next episode. I'm just getting my computer fixed today. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. So we're back in San Mishuno and we're gonna play as the karaoke legends. But first I need to really give this girl a makeover. I also heard that in an update, one of her traits makes it harder for her to become pregnant, which is like honestly weird. Hope that gets fixed. Oh my gosh, she's super bold. She's just going for a bold new look and who can blame her? So we're going to be giving her a lovely little makeover to get her back to her gorgeous self. And I'll also be changing her non-committal trait so that she is able to have kids. So instead we're gonna make her for the time being a snob. I think that that makes total sense. She looks super different without all of my CC on. I'm kind of shook. She's looking like fine now. We still need to give her some eyeliner and some, oh, she doesn't need anything there. There she goes, she's fine. Party wear, we definitely need the eyeliner. Swim's fine. Hot weather, we need the eyeliner. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. That's fine. We can bring it down a notch. There we go. Actually, which one did I, I had this one. That one's fine. We need to do her hair. I feel like this could work for her, but there was like another hair that I thought was cute. She looks like way older than she used to. Maybe it's the eyeshadow. Maybe I need to stop it with the eyeshadow. Yeah, it was the eyeshadow, I think. I don't know what to do about this situation. I am, I'm having a panic. I don't like how Kaylee is looking. Let's just move on. Give her like an outfit that reminds me of what she was wearing before. Well, she did just get married. So you know what? She gets her new marriage makeover. We're gonna give her a new little outfit that's like not so super classy, but like a little better than it used to be. This one's good. Maybe she can have some boots. These look okay with that outfit, I think. Oh yeah, her athletic. Where's the little outfit from the new kit? Here we go. Maybe these ones, cute. Her party wear's obviously gone. That's probably for later though. That looks like a little, a little too nice. This one's good for now. Cute, okay. And then that's still good. The hot weather look, The sh she just needs the shorts. Those are fine. Cold weather look, she just needs the, the rest of it. Maybe this, that one's like pretty classy. Maybe these in black. It's an upgrade. I wanted her to have like a cute hat. She looks like Russian there for some reason. Maybe we'll just do sunglasses for when it's cold outside as well. It's fine, I'm fine. I'm not gonna be mad about the lack of my CC. I mean, I am, but I'm gonna try not to be mad about the lack of my CC. So let's try for a baby. We gotta get in there. We gotta get out of this relationship. I mean. He cute, but he's stinky and he's a little not super well financially. Um, also, I asked you guys if you thought that the fancy trash kid was cheating. All of you guys said, no, it's not cheating. It's just a bonus. So we are gonna buy the fancy trash can right now. Y'all said it would be a great idea for her to get a little bit of extra cash on the side that she will not give to her husband. I love that for us. I can't wait to use this fancy trash can. Let's see if we are knocked up. Come on, baby number one. I know he's supposed to like be in the shower. I guess it's fine. Cause they're like, you know, in love or whatever. It is for two. Yes. Congratulations, Kaylee. She's got his baby. Uh, 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 uh. 
She's hungry, so let's take care of our newly pregnant sweetheart. Maybe have a microwave meal. Is that gross? Instant noodles. I'm gonna have her make a microwave meal because I feel like she's not interested in cooking. She doesn't really tell him that she's pregnant or even celebrate. Oh wait, but she does need to learn how to cook to make food for her, her bae. Because they have to make that dinner party. She's gonna cook a little family-sized garden salad since she's like celebrating that they're gonna be a family soon. She's gotta make some friends to have a dinner party party. What? She's not in any clubs. Of course she's in a club. For some reason, the club didn't stick around, which is fine because you guys told me that some of the members need to be changed up anyway. So singles, we're going to have an open invitation, but the requirements are of course to be not married. Oh wait, but Kaylee can't be in it. That's why she's not in a club anymore. I see what happened here. All right, here's what I'm doing. Singles plus Kaylee. Requirements not married or married. Oh, it has to, it can only be one. How am I gonna be the next guy that you guys want her to date? Who is it again? I need to find out. Oh my God, this person said you should name the babies after wealthy things. I love that. That's so good. Okay, Diego logo. Meet new people, right? That's what the club's gonna be. Members. I wonder if we can just like find him. We don't already know him. What do we know about Diego Logo? We're gonna do some recon. He's like very eccentric. He likes comedy, gourmet cooking. He's a young adult. Has the fabulously wealthy aspiration. Financial status. <gasps> I can make them wealthy? Okay, who can join now? Thorn Bailey. Diego Logos is not showing up, but I mean, all these people are. Diego is not in here though. And I know you guys want Diego, so maybe we'll add middle class just to see. Oh, wait, I'm not middle class? That is so interesting. I can't believe she's technically wealthy. Okay, we'll add Thorn. That is so interesting. He's not showing up, but all these other people are. Bella Goth would be interesting. We were talking about Mortimer, but what if we seduced Bella Goth? You know, I'd have to cheat a little bit to have Bella Goth's baby, but Justin Delgado's married to Sapria Delgado. I don't want to break them up. They seem kind of sweet. Okay. I really want to meet the Diego guy. So maybe he'll be like around town. He lives in uptown. I want to clean it up. Money! We do need to have our very first dinner party. Where is Akira? Akira's, why are you sleeping in the other bed? Why aren't you sleeping in bed with your wife? Are there already cracks in this foundation? There were, but I don't know if he knew about it. Okay, we definitely need to like set up this house for a dinner party. Obviously this is not gonna cut it. So we're gonna have this nice dinner table. I don't know if this should be here. I wanna make like a little family room area. You don't need it. There you go. Yeah, I think that Actually, those chairs end up looking really cute. And then we could maybe put like a little centerpiece in the middle that she arranged. It's not not classy, but it just doesn't look super classy. And I think that's kind of cute because she's like, it's her first one, you know? He is working four hours. Maybe you could practice the programming skill for work since you need to reach level two of the programming skill to get a promotion. He's really hungry and work starts like in an hour. He's almost a level two. So I'm gonna just keep making him do this. I mean, if he accidentally starves, it's, you know, that's just what it's meant to be. <laughs> oh my gosh, did she just throw up? Kaylee! Oh no, poor Kaylee. I don't know if Kaylee really wants to clean that. Um, so she's gonna use something else. So Kaylee, why don't you hire, do we have enough like money to hire a maid? But like, that's kind of not our problem. She's gonna call while on the toilet. She's like, hey, I just vomited in my toilet and I really need someone to come clean it up for today. So if you could. Oh, Simeon wants us to meet someone famous at the lounge. Well, Simeon, um, we're not that interested in you because you're not uh, at our level financially anymore. So the maid's here. Hi, maid. We'll let Asuka do the, her job. I want you to practice your speeches. Okay, she's working on her charisma. She's already level four, which I think it only goes up to 10. So we might have to pick some other skills that she might need. Okay, great. She cleaned up for us. Bless, love this for us. Loving this life for us. A maid. Oh my gosh, when we move, maybe we'll get a butler neck. Oh, I've never had those in any of my challenges. So it would feel very good. A coworker is on our 17 energy drink, uh, 24, and it's starting to get ripe. Maybe confront foul boy. Oh, we lost the performance. 
I can't wait for Akira to come home and for him to be like, what did you do all day? And she was like, I hired a maid to clean up. And then I talked to myself in the mirror for like hours. I became really charismatic from it. He's gonna be like, great. <laughs> Yes! Level five, let's go, Charisma! Okay, what else can she do today? She can try to meet Diego. Let's travel. I really want her to meet Diego, I believe his name is, and then invite him to the dinner party. It would be so satisfying to, you know, just a little cherry on top to have Diego um, be at the dinner party and she'd be like, ah, ha, 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 ha. So he lives in his own Alto apartment in Uptown. So which one's Uptown? This one's Uptown. Great. Lobo, here we go. All right, what is she gonna do? Just pretend she's lost. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm new in town and just trying to visit a friend and then uh, ended up at your place. Oh my gosh, she's right there. Yes. What's up, Diego? Flirty introduction, girl. No, wait, we shouldn't do that right now because if they flirt in front of her current husband, I mean, what is he gonna do about it? No, we can't have him divorce us and not like owe us money. That's the thing, that's the thing. We'll do cheerful for now, okay? We, we wanna become like besties with him, but then he be unable to resist our charms. Tell him a funny story, flatter him. Kaylee is a snob. Snobs says love to critique the work of others and prefer companionships of fellow snobs. Is he also a snob? Let's get to know him and find out if he's also a snob. So far, they're really getting along. She learned that Diego is a cultural connoisseur sewer at San Machuno Times. That is a good upgrade. Flatter him, be like, wow, I'm so impressed. Oh, she wants to buy a lottery ticket. Girl, yes, buy the lottery ticket. Go off, purchase a lottery ticket. Yeah, where did you go? Why did you go downstairs? You were getting along fine. Don't talk to that man. Okay, got a lottery ticket. Let's hope that she wins. Oh my gosh, you imagine if she won the lottery. They're feeling very confident with each other. I feel like they're really finding it very easy to become fast friends. Oh, Akira's home. Okay, wow, we gotta go home. We don't want him to know that we're out here searching for a new man. We don't want him to know. Also, thank you all for your compliments on my eyeliner in the last video. I meant to do the same eyeliner look again, but like better because last time it was the first time I did it. And then of course, everything changed when my computer started glitching, so. Oh, Akira, what is he up to? He's browsing the web. Miko wants to come over. I mean, I think he would say okay, but I don't think Kaylee would like it. Oh my gosh, she's gonna open the door and just share big news with her. She's gonna be like, oh, you're here? I'm pregnant! <laughs> Although they are friends. So I actually feel like Miko would be really pumped about it. I just hope that when they divorce that we get to keep Miko. That's what we want. She's only just getting into her second trimester. I wanna put this in the trash can. Boom, 20 bucks. I feel like we should have the baby after the dinner because then she could immediately end things after the baby. And then we just marry Diego. Looks like Miko's upstairs. Why don't we invite her to come like hang with us on the couch? Heartfelt compliment, brighten her day. I think we wanna steal her from him. We want her to be our best friend, okay? And not his best friend. I don't know if they have like a ton in common in terms of like being snobs, loving objects. You know, I feel like Nico would probably probably stay Kira's friend. I think that we need like another bestie for Kaylee. Oh my gosh, she's gonna join his video game? Okay, Kaylee, go off. And she looks a little stressed about it, to be honest. She does not look like she's enjoying herself like a ton. I bet he like loves that, that she's gaming with him right now. Okay. Be jealous? Why does he have all these be jealous things? Is he jealous because of Miko? Kaylee, did you flirt with Miko? No, she's just being nice. Jealous pangs, it's not always reasonable. Sometimes the fe jealous feelings can just come to the surface. He's already jealous of her. Did he like hear that she was out with friends all day today? Wait, you should not be having coffee, queen. You're pregnant, what are you doing? Miko's like, okay, bye. Just went down the elevator. Oh, she's got six days. Okay, we gotta get going because we wanna get married for money. So why don't we just go to sleep? You're gonna cook something downstairs. Kaylee's upstairs sleeping. You could be sleeping with your pregnant wife, but no, you're cooking something instead at 1.30 a.m. The lottery is successful. The lottery was awesome. Kaylee had a wonderful time. We got to do everything she planned to do. Oh, Akira's was awful though. Oh, wait, I thought that meant that she won the lottery. I was so excited. Don't clean that up. Just clean that thing up in the kitchen, please. Thank you. Oh, she really needs to go. Okay, go girl. Ooh, now she's feeling flirty. Oh my goodness. 
Wait, we only have five days now. Okay, we gotta get stuff done here. Oh, Tomax heard that she became friends with Diego. Oh no! He woke up flirty and she's gonna give him a little kiss before work. You know, who says that having a husband can't be fun? She probably kind of like thinks he's attractive. Aw, they're kind of cute. I kind of hate breaking him up. Oh my gosh, you should text to Diego. And then when he asks, be like, it was Mia. Oh, love day tomorrow. Izzy Fabulous won the lotto and not us. Best of luck to Izzy. Is it time for him to quit that job and stop thinking about getting one? Ugh, all right. All right, so we did not get it. She's very sad, but just only like a little bit. Take a nice bath. Wait, take a fancy bath with like soaks, with like rose petals. Be extra bougie queen. Oh my gosh, spending 30 bucks on a bath. Can you just imagine? I love the audacity that she has while well, she's like, um, work hard, husband. <laughs> she's practicing her speech so that she can become the next level of charisma. We wanna be level six. Perfect. She's charisma level six. She can sweet talk other Sims and upload images on a computer. I don't know what that's for, but sure. Yeah, upload images on a computer. We could also make her like weirdly famous just for being rich. I feel like that would be kind of fun. I'm very excited for our dinner party tonight. Um, we might have to get a special like dinner party look planned out for our girl. Let's plan an outfit for tonight. So for a dinner party, I think it's gotta be a formal look. I want her to look like really mom of the year, wife of the year, you know, just goddess level. I mean, this will be later dinner parties for sure. But right now I think that she wants to have something in between. That one's kind of cute. That one's okay. This one's kind of nice. I think it hits that perfect like in between stage where she's got like a little bit of money, but not a lot. Maybe we'll do something different with the lips. Yeah, maybe the nude. And then we do for cheeks, I still like that. For eyeliner, maybe that is good. Also, I feel like she needs some accessories, maybe like a nice gold necklace. I want her to have something small. Maybe this is fine. And then we'll do gold hoops are kind of classic. I would love her to have a ring on her finger. That's good. And then she'll get the diamond in the next one. She is pregnant. So maybe we'll give her some more substantial looking heels. Like a black pump would be good. All right. I love that outfit for Kaylee's first dinner party. Akira's home. Um, he was promoted. So I got more money. Yo, okay, Akira. Oh, and he's so stressed. He needs some fun and hygiene. So we'll have him take a quick shower, but then Kaylee, I think should wake up and immediately be like, all right, dinner party time. There we go. Gold event. The host is obviously Kaylee and Akira. Actually, I think Kaylee's the only host. I think he'll, he'll just also be there. We're going to invite, oh, Jenna. Oh, I thought Jenna maybe could be a good friend for her. So I'm inviting Jenna. Bella Goth, which is just an interesting choice. Diego Lobo, her new friend, Miko. So I think six is good. And then a caterer. I think I think she won't have a caterer or should she have a caterer? I think she needs to. So yeah, we're gonna hire a caterer. It's gonna be at the Karaoke Legends uh, residence. Akira, once you're done, you need to change up and get ready. Oh my gosh, look, okay, she's here. The guests are arriving. They're in their party wear. I'm making a garden salad. Let's thank her for coming. She's like, hello, thanks for inviting me over. She's like, oh, thanks for coming. Woo, Bella God is pregnant too? Whose baby is she pregnant with? She's got to do a little joke about politicians, maybe. Jenna, I need you to make another joke. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. I don't know if Akira liked that. He was like, why are you feeling just randomly flirty? Yes. Okay, she took... Is he mad? He's very enamored with her. Okay, have listen, Sims listen to the stereo at the same deal. Like she would have bought this without asking him and he would have been pretty mad, but it's kind of too late cause she already bought it and it's for the party. So it's worth it. Uh, and she's going to turn on easy listening. I think will be her. I need people to be listening to this music here. And our pregnant queen, Bella Goth is upstairs. I wonder if she got pregnant with that guy 
guy that she hooked up with at the club. Okay, she made her garden salad. Have some drink at the same time. Okay, I want a group of them. Listen to easy listening. I need them all to be listening to the music. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, well, we're adding everyone to the group of everybody here, except for that guy, obviously. And then we're gonna have everyone dance to the music together. It's gonna be like a little awkward, but I think it's probably a good call. Oh my gosh, what is she on? Oh, she's French, she's third trimester. Oh my gosh, hopefully we have the baby in this episode. So they're all dancing. She's feeling very flirty. All of you nuts listen to things. Thank you. Now let's call all the guests to the meal. She's like, hello, tacos are ready. Um, Let's go. Oh yes, we already have silver. That is fabulous. They don't have any cocktails. So that's definitely an upgrade we need for the next party. But look, everybody's getting their food. They're also getting her salads, which is nice. Oh, Diego is sitting right next to her and her husband sat across the table. So make funny faces, do an impression. She's gonna try to become playful and hopefully he's gonna become playful too. He's got jealous again. We could try to buy drinks, like one of those little drinks. Yes, like one of these. You know what? We don't need this table because technically we have a table. So we're gonna put that there. She's gonna pour a drink platter of the, oh, she's gonna be very fancy and do the sip adder cherry sap platter. Oh, we got silver, but we got silver. So it's okay. She's pouring the drinks though. She's trying her best. Um, oh my God, they're all still here. Where did her husband go? He's like very mad right now. I can't wait to see him be jealous of her. Look at him, he's so annoyed. She didn't even do anything wrong yet. Like she's planning to do stuff wrong, but she hasn't done it yet. Oh my gosh, you dramatic boy. Materialistic lesson, she's materialistic. Okay, well, why don't you enjoy your new possession? It's 2 a.m. I think that's a pretty successful party. Tell a dramatic story. Like I want her to feel like more compliment with him. Oh my gosh, is he still being jealous? He's got some jealous pangs. He keeps going into the hallway because he's mad. I'm assuming her and Bella got our mocktails, so it's fine. But we're gonna maybe send everyone home. She's like, thank you all so much for coming. I think it's time for you all to go home. Ooh, Diego just got a sentiment with her. Wait a second. Let's open the profile. She feels closer from happy memories. Oh my gosh, she also has one with Miko. Closer after a fun party. Maybe they are gonna be friends for life. But she's like, okay, goodbye everyone. Thank you for being here and coming. Okay, everyone enjoyed the party. I think it was a good job. She woke up really needing to go. I don't blame her. Oh my gosh, they have a broken toilet. She's gonna definitely replace that. Actually, I want her to hire a repair service. Oh, He's gonna go to work, bye. Oh, Bear Bear Woman, heck yes. I love the amount of people in our bathroom right now. I can't wait till she's running her own household with all of her kids and her butler and her maid and her handy technicians. Everything is fixed up, thank you. She's hungry, so why don't we take her downstairs, grab some leftovers because she's incubating a baby up in here. Oh, she only has two days left. Oh my gosh, we've gotta have this baby today so we can get married the next day and still get that money. What other things could make her like famous? We could do acting, but like we can't actually be an actress. Maybe just like an influencer. Like maybe she'll just like post photos of herself online. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, and it's love day. I wonder if she should just like do something nice for him on love day. What is it? She loves getting the romantic experience, giving flowers and going on a date. So maybe we'll try to give her a good love day, but we could give her a good love day with someone one that is it her husband. I want her to, you know, take her selfie. We'll have this be like her first selfie and then later she'll have like all these professional photos done of her and it'll be super cute. Okay, why don't we just invite someone to hang out? No, I think she should go out to it. So let's travel and then we'll invite Diego to travel with us. Ooh, why don't they go to this fancy like bar lounge that they could just sip cocktails, but she's pregnant, but she sip mocktails and kind of have like a date that isn't a date. <laughs> He's a snob like her. Okay, perfect. Take a Instagram story. And then I really need her to buy something. We need a rose and she's gonna give it to him. She's using her husband's money, but it's fine. Give a love day gift of a rose. Oh my gosh, Akira's home. Oh no. She's on the road to fame. Yes. Okay, she has 12 followers. Not a lot, but she's pretty good. She's gonna give him a little love day gift of a rose. Let's see if he likes it. He does not. All right, we need to end this conversation. Add him to a group. Oh my gosh, this is gonna 
really upset her husband because it's love day and she's out with another man. Whisper sweet nothings. Oh my gosh. Share love day spirit. Compliment his appearance. Flirt with him. We're just gonna go in. Just start like ask if he's single. Oh my gosh. She told him something scandalous. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. It's on love day two. Oh my gosh, sweet talking. It worked really pretty well. Deep conversation, flirt. First kiss. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's already cheating on her husband. I feel so guilty. I feel so guilty. They just got a sentiment and he just kissed her. Oh my gosh. Exchange numbers, suave kiss. Can she ask him on a date right now? <gasps> She's gonna be like, do you wanna go on a date? And he's like, yeah, this is a date now. I mean, I think they should just stay there. Fabulous, now they're on a date. Offer him a rose sit together over there. Hopefully they can actually sit and talk. Compliment his appearance. Oh my gosh, she's in labor! Oh my gosh, she's gotta end this day early. I'm so sorry, she's in labor. The date was unsuccessful, but she did still go on a date. The tradition is complete. And now the girl's gotta go have the baby. Have the baby at the hospital. We're joining her. We're gonna have Akira come because obviously it's his baby. Just be like, it's okay, give him a hug. He's been like, where have you been all night? And now you're like here, but she's like, hey babe, I'm gonna have your baby. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. No, 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 don't have an accident. She just peed in front of him. She's checked in. She's having the baby. Akira's here. Oh, it's a boy. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations, it's a boy. So I got a, re a recommendation in the comments that I thought was amazing. And it says, you should name them Cash, Rich, Diamond, Crystal, Jewel, or Bentley, things like that. I love the name Cash for her first kid. I feel like she'll get like a little classier, but at first it could be like Cash and like all these kind of like, not that Cash can't be classy, but I think the reason she's doing it is not as classy. Versus like Bentley, I think would be like later. She'll like go into the designer brands. <laughs> Let's see where Cash ended up spawning. Okay, in the perfect place, in the kids' room. Not that we'll ever have like more kids in here because I think we're gonna immediately move to the other house, but let's hire a nanny service. I don't wanna deal with this. She's like, her love day was successful. His was awful. Uh, I'm not surprised. Hi there, my name is Nanny Rag Haven. Nice to meet you. I'm sensibly sufficient in every way and I can cook, play, cook, and mentor. Yes, I'm not opposed to changing diapers and cleaning up messes. Is that her? No, wait, what? The nanny's here. Who is this woman? Uh, um, what's happening? Oh my God, what? Sakura Suzuki just, what did she just do? <gasps> she, oh my God, she's a vampire! Akira's waking up and seeing this happen. Sakura, oh my God, she got her plasma just drained. This creepy vampire just rolled up into her home and drank all of the blood from Kaylee and she's passed out and the baby's still crying. Um, but luckily our nanny actually did really take care of Cash. So very happy for Cash. Akira just like walked away and got on the computer. Boy, I am divorcing you so fast. You're gone. Honestly, Akira is down here chilling with the nanny. She's gonna take care of her needs. It's 8 a.m. It's a perfect day to break up with your husband and get married. <gasps> In eight hours! Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna get food. We're just gonna divorce. Where is my husband? Mean. Okay, divorce. Girl, go, 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 go. I think we're gonna miss it. I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh my gosh. Everybody stop. Go divorce your husband. I feel like she doesn't want to. I feel like Yes, she's divorcing Akira. She's like, I don't think we should be. He is mad. He's mad at her. I do not. Oh my gosh, and now he's sad. And she's feeling very flirty. Oh my gosh, what if they had? Could they have like woohoo? No, they can't. I was like, that'd be so funny if they have woohoo. Now I've got to manage worlds. We're gonna kick him out of the house. Here we are. We were in the spice district. So we're needing to um, manage everybody. Okay, let's get him out of our house. Here, you can just move back in with your roommate. We're doing that. We're gonna play. We're gonna invite him over, try to get married like stat, and then we'll just sell everything in the house when we move. How much longer do we have? Seven hours. Okay, so invite to hang out a current household. Oh, what happened to, is he already at the current household? All right, they're gonna just travel somewhere. It's gotta be romantic-ish. I feel like the park would be like a great place to like randomly elope. We gotta passionately kiss him and then maybe just like immediately ask him to be my boyfriend and then immediately ask him to marry us. Boom, kiss. 
propose. He's happy though. Hopefully he says yes, it's really fast. She's like, will you marry me? I've got six hours, please. Diego's like, I will. Oh my God, I don't know why. He's like, this is all happening so fast, but you know, oh my gosh, they're engaged. Okay, great. <gasps> Wait, right here. Oh my gosh, there's already a place. Okay, here we go. We're marrying for money. He feels like he's vibing this marriage. It's a cute, you know, location that they got married. It was a beautiful ceremony. I would like to marry you, Diego Lobo. And hopefully we will um, have, oh my gosh, there's fireworks. What? There's fireworks at their wedding. They're moving in together and bring all their money, sell all lot furnishings as well. Thank you. <laughs> You satisfy the conditions to get the inheritance money. You'll get the deposit soon. Congratulations. You can have your married and moves in together. Okay, they're now moved in together. Let's see her new home and Cash's new home. Okay, this apartment is like way better. They're like 10,000 away from making it like a really uh, good place. So I think I might give it some updates. Okay, Cash is here in the bedroom, random. Are they here? Okay, bring them both here. Okay, here we go. Okay, perfect. Oh, she completed the first one. Okay, so we just completed the first of four of the mansion barren aspiration. She is really close to having it be worth 100,000 civilians. Uh, she's gotta purchase $5,000 worth of landscaping. Obviously she, that's not gonna fly here. So she's gonna have to find a new sim next that could have landscaping, but so far so good. Maybe we delete the closet. That's the only thing I can really imagine making into Cash's bedroom. I feel like this lot is slowing down my game majorly. I think it's the computer though. It might not like be quite as robust as the other one. So apologies in advance, but this is Cash's room. They're off to try for a baby. They're about to woohoo for the first time. Okay, she's gonna hire the maid. <gasps> I think she's eating for two. If my computer would just speed up. Cash is very hungry. He'd be taking away soon, eating for two. Okay, I guess she has to like feed Cash. Otherwise he might be taken away. And I don't think she'd want that. Oh wait, the nanny's here. Never mind. Akira's calling her. He's like, I heard you became friends with Angel. Who is the nanny? Oh no! Nanny, please come feed my baby. He might be taken away and I don't want that. She's playing in a new VR machine. This man's like, welcome to the neighborhood. I'll share some big news. Be like, oh yeah, I just got married again and I'm pregnant with baby number two. Well, this is a pretty great looking apartment. I'm thinking we might have to give it a bit of a makeover. We're also gonna have to give her a makeover in the next episode, uh, glamming her up for this new ritzier lifestyle. Also bringing back some CC. Hopefully my computer will be better next time I'm filming one of these. I hope you had so much fun. I had so much fun and if you are still Still enjoying this series make sure to comment below like and let me know so that i can continue doing it and so with that guys thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you around the internet very soon bye